guys. Let's go for a little drive. Let's start up the Whipple Ram. There can't be two Alpha Titans. Who bows to who? Kong bows to no one. Yeah. All right, guys, what is going on? Today's video, we are going to talk about the 2023 Ram Dakota that is officially being converted, coming out. We don't know exactly when it's going to come out. Is it going to come out at the beginning of 2023? Probably not, because there's not much information on it, but it has been leaked. There's been a, a bunch of renderings out, and it looks really good. Now, they're making the 2023 Ram Dakota to, to compete with the new Forge, the no, Forge Mav Ford Maverick the Honda Ridgeline, all the mid-sized trucks. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go for a ride in my Ram and we're gonna talk about this truck. All right, guys, let's go for a little drive. Let's start up the Whipple Ram. Gotta love a cold start. It's the first time it's been uh, started up. In a couple of days, actually, maybe a week. So we're gonna talk about the Ram Dakota coming out and like I said, we'll go for a drive, and I'm going to sh uh, share all the information I have about it so far for you guys. All righty. Now, the, the 2023 Ram Dakota, like I said, there's not a lot of information on it. There's not much going on, not any videos or anything. Just a bunch of pictures and renderings, but it is officially confirmed that it's coming out. No idea when it's going to actually be, like, leaked. They may talk about it more in the Detroit Auto Show, which that's usually when they announce the, the biggest things. Or that's when they usually, announce, like, uh, if a vehicle's out and it's, like, you know, maybe just pictures have been shown. The Detroit Auto Show will be the first place that it's, it's um, it, 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 yeah, it shows up at. I was actually at the Detroit Auto Show back in 2019, or 2018 to see the reveal of the Ram. I was, you know, the, the 2019 Ram when it came out. Absolutely love that truck. I still do, but uh, I got a 2014 Ram 4th Gen, and um, yeah, the 2019 Ram came out, Detroit Auto Show, so they may release some information that I don't, you know, they may not, I don't know when they're going to release it, but I was reading a lot of information on it. Now, the only way, like, another thing is a lot of the information may start get jumped if they use the Ram 1500 platform is what I was hearing. Now, if they use the Ram 1500 platform, that could really get a big jump in starting the process of getting this thing going. Now, I think it would be great to have a mid-size Ram. Uh, they already sell enough regular Ram 1500s. Why not a smaller version, more fuel efficient for guys that don't want to drive a big, you know, 1500? I mean, yeah, it's not really big compared to the 25, 35, but it is a big, heavy truck. So, you know, I would love to have, you know, I would love one. As a little daily driver, like I said, get back and forth to work, good gas mileage, that'd be great. Now, the one thing that they, I think they should definitely put in it is the Eco Diesel motor. Now, the Eco Diesel motor is like 460 foot pound of torque and 265 horsepower. Now, that is like perfect. You could tow, you know, it's not going to be able to tow as much as the, the Ram 1500 would be, obviously, because of the size, the, the chassis. It all depends on the suspension and everything else. But you could tow a good amount of weight with that little truck. And that, you know, I said, if you don't want a big, huge truck, that might be the perfect thing. That's why the Ford has got that Maverick, they got the Honda Ridgeline. Um, Ranger, they got a bunch of these uh, mid, small, little, mid-sized trucks that are great for people that don't, you know, you know, say you live in the city, you don't, you got to park a lot, you still want a pickup truck like the old S10s, even the old uh, Dodge Dakota. That old Dakota was an awesome truck, man. I really liked it, especially when, you know, not the new, not the 05 model or the 011 to 05. They, when they brought it back in 05 to 11, that was cool. I really liked that, but I always liked, I liked that because it was a little bit better inside. But I always like the look of the uh, like the 5.9 RT with the Magnum engine in it, man. And a lot of guys made them things stupidly fast, man. They were really cool. I know Boosted Motorsports, he put a Hellcat motor in his. And, you know, he's doing a lot of cool things over at that channel. So check, check him out if you don't know Boosted Motorsports is already, guys. Yeah, so Ram Dakota. And, you know, Ram, they're going to put amazing features on the inside. They're going to blow the wall, blow that yeah, below Ford Chevy with their little Colorado truck you know it's a nice truck too they're all all these little trucks are nice trucks but um 
for uh, Ram with their interior is just going to blow everybody out the water if they do this right. Like, I, you know, which I hope they do. I hope they do it right. Come out with it. Give it like a big, huge 12 inch touchscreen leather, all this and that, like different packages. Basically the same as they would do for the Ram 1500. You know what I mean? And if it starts to sell more, then you, you introduce more packages. You know, and it's going to be starting cheaper. What's the Ram start at now? At forty thousand dollars, starting as a twenty, as a uh, you know, <laughs> what year is it? Twenty twenty two. It's like twenty. It's only like forty thousand dollars for the basic V six tradesman four by two. You do have to. Two, you do have a four door. You don't even have a two door option. They probably won't give you a two door option. That would be cool if they did. That would be really cool if they did. But as of right now, Ram is not giving two-door options. It kind of sucks because imagine how awesome a fifth-gen would be with a two-door. In my opinion, that would be really, really cool. You know you know what I mean? You can make a, like a drink basically. Oh, sorry. Oh, someone's beeping back there. You can see a car cut out the other car right there. That would be really cool to, uh, you know, see a, a single cab. But as of right now, not happening. But with the Ram Dakota, anything is possible because it's a new vehicle featured coming out, and I would love to love to see them. I think that'd be all right, just on this turn. I think that'd be really cool. Who knows? I mean, who, I just know it's official. They said it's officially leaked, officially confirmed. There has, there's not any videos. There's just renderings and pictures, and it, you know. So we'll have to wait and see right now, guys. Uh, but you know, just a short little video I wanted to make for you guys on it. I just. Trying to get trying to get some content going out about the Rams. So uh hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, I'll talk to you next one. Thanks.